Hi everyone, my name is Akuridi Adenike. You are welcome to my channel. In this tutorial today, I would like to teach you how to cut and sew this beautiful shoulder princess dart busted dress with shoulder flare and front slit. I have a video on how to draft this pattern that I'm making use of. So I'm going to drop the link to that video in the box below. Here is the back part and here is the front part. And here is the material I'm using for the tutorial today. It is one of the African print Ankara. I have 3.5 yards of fabric here. I'm going to make use of this cruel line for the shoulder flare. Here is my interfacing for the bust area, matching lining. But I'm going to use some um, hard interfacing for my shoulder flare, which I did not show in this video. So I'm going to fold my fabric into two now, place my pattern on it and cut it out. Now I'm done cutting my fabric and the lining as you can see. This is the front part and this is the back part. Here is the center back and this is the side back underneath. So my lining is 10 inches shorter than the fabric, both the, bar, both the center back and the side back. Let me put the back aside and start from the front part. Here is my front part now. My lining is also shorter than the fabric by 10 inches both the side front and center front my front is on fold as you can see both the lining and the fabric here's the lining for the center front as you can see now here is it so then put my lining aside i have two pieces of my side front lining as you can see put the lining aside and explain how I'm going to stitch on the fabric so now before I remove my pin I'm going to notch all the necessary area my bust point under bust waist and my hip line I'm going to do that on the side front as well now I'm done notching as you can see I'm going to remove my paper this is my center front like i said i cut it on fold and i added half inch all through it but at the down part here i added two inches for my hemming allowance but on the side front i added 1.5 inch for side seam so i'm going to remove my paper now So this is my side front, two pieces of it and two pieces of the lining. This is my center front. I cut it on foot, just one piece of the center front. Now, since I'm not going to use wording for my dress, I'm going to use my soft interfacing. At first, I'm going to fold it into two like this. This is single one, as you can see. So I'm folding into two for me to cut it out. So I'll just place my fabric on it like this stops at the underbust i'm going to stop it place it like this and here is my center front and this is my side front so it's going to stop on my underbust like this i'm going to cut it in full at first just like this This is how it's going to be. I'll turn it for you to see. Here is my center front, as you can see now. Now here is another interfacing folded into two, as you can see. And I have two pieces of it here. Yeah, the first one and the second one. So I'm focusing on the bust area now for the second step of my interfacing. Since I'm not adding any word into my bust area. So I'm going to place it like this. So here is my underbust now. It will stop on my underbust. But I'm going to measure one inch from my neckline. Let me place it first. Here is my side front as well. I'm going to place it like this. And this is my underbust for my side front, as you can see. You know, the first one is fuller than this. This is the second step of my interfacing. So I'm going to measure one inch from my neckline here. I'm measuring one inch downward from my neckline. 
So this is where my interfacing for the second step. This is where it's going to, it's going to start and it's going to start on my under bust as you can see. So I'll just I'll just make it straight from here to this place now. Just fold it like this. I'm folding this one too like this and I'm going to cut it off. But if you are a beginner, please make sure you just mark it out for you not to cut wrongly, please. So you can just mark it out like this and cut it off. This is the second step of my interfacing on my fabric. I'm going to do the same process on my lining as well. So this is how I'm going to place it before I high on it. Let me show you. Let me move my pin is my side. I'll just I'm going to iron it on the wrong side of my fabric like this. This is for the side. The first step, like I said, I'm going to take one out of these. This is for the lining and place the gum side just like this. This is my center front. Hope you can understand. Hope you can understand what I'm doing. This is my side center front. Take one out of it and iron it out. Now this is for this is the first step and this is the second step. Make sure you use the gum side, please. Make sure you place the gum side on it. Here's the gum side and make sure you notice it, please, before you iron it out. Here's this gum side double the second step just like this i'm doing the same thing to the second side of the front so here is my center front i'm going to place the gum side just like this focus on the on that boss place here's the second one you know i said i'm going to double it so i'll just iron it out like this so i'm going to do the same thing the same process on the lining now i'm done going interfacing to my lining and the fabric as you can see here's the lining let me put my lining aside just like this and explain on the fabric so i'll go ahead and turn my fabric into the right side like the side for boards i have the side here here's the second one so i'm placing this like this I'm going to place this one on this side. It will just match like this. I'll let the shoulder align on each other. But I'm going to start my stitching from the bottom like this. So I'll just turn it to the bottom like this for you to see. This one will just be like this. This is for this side. This one is for this side. And this one is for this side. So let me drag it for you to see the. As you can see now, where is it? This is my center front, and this is the two sides. So it will just be like this. This one will be for this, and this one will be for this. So I'm going to start my stitching from the bottom, just like this. So I'm going to stitch from the bottom with half inch till I reach the shoulder, just like this. So I'm doing the same thing on the second side. Place it, stitch from the bottom with half inch till I reach the shoulder. I'm going to stitch with half inch till I reach the shoulder. 
just like this hope you can see what i'm doing just like this so when i finish with that i'll do the same thing on the lining the same process on the lining i'm going to move to the back part now here is the back part two pieces of the side and two pieces of the center i added half inch all through this place but on the bottom part i added two inches as well like i said on the front part but on the side i added 1.5 inch for my side seam allowance i make the center on the lining too so i'm going to remove my paper for me to explain how i'm going to stitch the back parts for you guys so it's going to be like this now i'm going to this is my zipper side so i'm going to pick it one by one now and stitch from the bottom with half inch till i reach the shoulder i'll just stitch it from the bottom here I'm going to stitch from the bottom till i reach the shoulder here i'm doing the same thing on the second side place it on each other like this and turn it i'm going to place it on each other and stitch from the bottom till i reach the shoulder here so i'm doing the same thing on the lining the same process on the lining as well now i'm done joining all the pieces together like i explained here's the front part as you can see so i'll go ahead and notch all this area with quarter of an inch after notching i'm going to open it open all the seam i'm doing the same thing on the lining notch the seams all the curve area and i'm going to open all the seam like this and iron them out i'm doing the same thing on this side too likewise on the lining i'm going to do the same thing after notching i'm going to open the seam and iron here is my back as well i'm done joining all the pieces together i will open it like this turn it to the wrong side notch all this area with quarter of an inch do the same thing on the second side of it notch the area like this and i'm going to do the same thing on the lining as well after notching i'm going to open the same like this iron them out doing the same thing on the lining like i said so after notching and ironing i'm going to place my lining on the fabric let the right side of the lining face the right side of the fabric just like this so now go ahead and stitch the neckline with half inch till i reach where the line is on the second side so i'm going to stitch with half inch from the armpit till i reach where the line is so on the front as well i'm going to place my lining on the right side of the fabric let the right side of the lining face the right side of the fabric after notching and ironing the seam out so i'll go ahead and stitch the neckline on both sides with half inch now i'm done with all that i explained as you can see i've notched the seam and ironed them out and i've joined the lining to the fabric as well so i'll go ahead and notch the neckline with quarter of an inch lest i forget i left this place open one side of the front i left it open for my front slit and the length of my slit is 8 inches plus 2 inches I mean allowance making 10 inches all together so i'm going to notch the neckline like i said notch the back neckline as well so after that i'm going to turn them to the right side after notching i'm going to turn them to the right side now i'm done turning all the two pieces for the back and one piece for the front I've, I've turned them to the right side as you can see so here is my front now so i'll go ahead and place my back on the front for me to join the two shoulders together so this one will be for this side and the second one will be for the other side now i'm going to open the back shoulder like this separate the lining and the fabric and put the front shoulder 
in between the lining and the fabric just for me to join the shoulder and fold it like this so i'm going to join my shoulder with half inch so i'm doing the same thing on the second shoulder I'm done joining the two shoulders as you can see. I'm going to turn them to the right side just like this. So I'm going to move on to the shoulder flare. So I'm making use of the measurements between my shoulder line to my under bust, which is 13.5 inches, but I'm making use of 12 inches because I'm cutting that flare in form of eye low flare and i'm using full circle for it since the flare is extending to the back part so i'm going to add five inches which is the length of my flare and one inch for seam allowance to that three inches it will give me nine inches so i'm going to multiply that nine inches in by two it will give me 18 inches since I'm cutting the flare in form of full circle. So I have 18 inches by 18 inches here, folded into two, as you can see. So let me just separate it. I wanted to cut it together before, but just because of the beginners, let me separate the fabric into two. So I'm marking on the wrong side for me not to make silly mistakes. This one will be for one flare and this one will be for the second flare. So here is the right side. I'm just folding it like this and I'm going to fold it again. You know, I said I'm cutting full flare. So here is 9 inches by 9 inches now. I'll just measure that 3 inches, which is the radius of my flare from this tip now. I'm measuring it round from the tip of the square. So from this mark now, I'm going to measure out 5 inches plus 1 inch, which is the length of my flare out. I'm measuring it round as well. I'm going to connect it. So I'm connecting it, I'm going to cut it out. Before cutting the radius, I'm going to place this one on the second flare for me to cut it accurately. I'm folding this one now and I'm going to place it on it for me to cut it out. just like this now I'm done cutting as you can see so I'll go ahead and cut two more of these because two pieces for each shoulder I'm going to cut it in form of that eye low that I said so here is the center of my flare now assuming this is the center of my flare I'll just shape it like this to meet this tip just curve it a little bit just like this I'm cutting it out so I'm going to cut two more of these for the second shoulder because this one is for one shoulder now Now I'm done cutting all the four pieces like I said and I've gone interfacing to the two pieces out of that four pieces. I used add interfacing for this to make it stand very well and I added half inch, I left half inch seam allowance all around the two flares. So I'll go ahead now and join them together. Pick them one by one just like this. I'm placing it like this. Here's the right side of this one. And I'm going to take one out of the one that I gummed interfacing to. Let the right side face each other like this. 
make sure it's aligned on each other to avoid any silly mistakes. So I'm going to take my green on eye. Use lighter to smoothen the edges to avoid it from injured your client or yourself. After that, I'm going to fold it like this. Let it form triangle. Just like this. Before placing it on the fabric and stitch. So I'll just place it on my fabric like this after folding the tip to form triangle. I'm going to place it on this side. On the tip, I'm going to stitch it on the tip of that gray lunai. Do not stitch on that interface in place to let it lay very well after stitching i'm doing the same thing on the second one i'm done stitching as you can see so i'll go ahead and notch all the edges with quarter of an inch before turning to the right side so i'm going to turn it to the right side like this after turning i'm going to iron them out now and I'm done turning and I've ironed them out as you can see. Very nice and beautiful. So I'll go ahead and attach it to my dress now. Here is my dress. Here is the front and here is the back part. So what I'm going to do now is to fold my flare into two and notch the center. Because I'm placing that center on my shoulder line. Make sure you let it align before notching, please, to avoid silly mistakes. I'm doing the same thing on the second flare. After notching, I'll go ahead and place it on the dress. Let the center of the flare align on the shoulder line, please. And make sure you place where the interfacing is like this. The side where the interface is make sure you place it like this and let the center align on the shoulder line just like this i'm using pin to hold it before stitching just to make it align on the shoulder line i mean the center of the flare just to make it align on the shoulder line After the pin, I'll go ahead and stitch from the shoulder till where the flare ends. Here. After that, I'm going to stitch from the shoulder again till where the flare ends on the back part as well. So I'm going to do the same thing on the second side. notch the center place it on it and stitch like i explained so i'm done stitching my flare to my shoulder i'm done attaching my flare to the shoulder as you can see it's very nice and beautiful i'll go ahead and place my back on the front part for me to stitch my side seam so i'm going to stitch from the armpit here to the down part of my dress i'm doing the same thing on the second side of it after placing my back on the front just like this with my side seam that i added to it now i'm done stitching my side seam as you can see both sides same so i'll go ahead and fold my dress into two just like this So for me to measure out all the necessary measurements, here is the zipper side now, as you can see. So I have my 
under bust line, my waist line, and my hip line as well. I'm going to place half of my hip on my hip, half of my waist on my waist, and half of my under bust on my under bust. Half of my chest line, I mean half of my bust will be on my chest line as well. So I'll go ahead and use my zipper to measure out where I'm going to start my stitching from till I get to the down part of my dress. So I'm going to use my zipper to, do, to measure it out like this. And I'm leaving one inch or two inches before I start my stitching. So I'm going to mark it out. So this is where I'm starting my stitching on that zipper side till I reach the down part of my dress, just like this. If you are a beginner, please measure it out before you roll it out, please. So I'll go ahead and stitch from here to here now. So after that, I'm going to fix my zipper. So here is it. I'm done with all that I explained. I'll fix my zipper as you can see. And now I'm going to move ahead to my sleeve. I'm using long sleeve. I have a video on how to draft it. I'm going to put the link in the box below. Here is the right side of my sleeve. So I'm going to hem the bottom of my sleeve with this same allowance that I added to it. I'll just fold it like this. I'm going to double fold, fold half before I fold one inch after that half inch just like this and i'm going to stitch on it like this i'm doing the same thing on the second sleeve after hemming the bottom i'm going to fold it like this and stitch the side same allowance so i'm done stitching my sleeves as you can see so i'll move ahead and fix it to the dress so i'll just fix it like this let me show you how to place it and fix i'm going to this one is for this side and the second one is for the other side just like this after fixing my sleeve i'm going to hem the slit use my hand needle and thread but before hemming it i'm going to overlock it all around so after hemming my sleeve i mean after hemming my slit i'm going to hem the bottom of my dress as well I'm done with it as you can see it's very nice and beautiful here is the finishing look of it on the screen if my tutorial has been helpful to you guys please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to support my channel if you have any question pertaining to cutting and sewing you can join me on my facebook group details to sewing created by akuridi adinike